Good morning everyone, Dash and Dink here. We're sitting in the McDonald's parking lot actually because we just got an order. That's right, it's Friday, January 26th. Uh, it is like 7.45 in the morning. And we got a $4 going 3.8 miles from McDonald's. We're sitting in the McDonald's lot now getting ready to go in. So let's head on in and get this order. Thanks guys. Yeah, you too. Good morning, Peyton. Peyton. Have a great day. Thank you. All right, everyone. We've got four dollars in the bank. Got that McDonald's delivery brought safely to Peyton. All right, so we've got six dollars going 5.4 miles from McDonald's. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. Yeah. Last three. Uh, five nine zero. There you go. All right, thank, thank you guys. You know. All right, thank you so much for your business. I appreciate your order, enjoy your McDonald's, and have a wonderful day. All right, everyone, we just got that McDonald's order dropped off. <laughs> and I just received a 206 to go five point whatever miles again from McDonald's. So let's go pick it up. Okay, so first and foremost, I forgot to record that because I was trying to get a hold of her and there were dogs running around. I hate going to places where people have 15 dogs running around. You're trying to get a hold of them to see if the dogs are okay. Are they gonna bite me? Are they gonna chase me? And now I just received a $6. The mileage wasn't much, but it's two drop offs. So basically if you cut it in half it's three bucks each I don't know who said once you hit 90% your orders get fabulous because I've had nothing but garbage for the last two times I've been out door dashing but I honestly feel if you ever notice the next time you go door dash just just try this out once every time I take an order with fairly long distance miles it seems like DoorDash sends me orders that are a lot of miles just back to back to back to back if I take orders that are garbage like two dollars and six cents or three dollars or whatever DoorDash sends me all of the two dollars three dollars four dollar orders I'm doing a series on my YouTube channel right now where I'm taking every order to 100% AR. So it's been trash. Yeah, I've declined a couple, like $2 ones today. I'm sure you took those ones. I did, yeah. yeah. When you do this full time? Uh, in the winter I do. Has it been slow? January and February are statistically the slowest I mean, months of the year. That everywhere, right? Yeah. And it's just everyone's coming back from the holidays yeah, and whatever. And as soon as taxes start rolling start in, then yeah. it'll it'll get good again. But right now it's just dead. Good luck out there. Yeah, you Be too. safe. I'll, see you I'll check out your channel. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, everyone, we're heading over to the college with this first Dunkin' order. So 
that's why I say it was probably an average of three dollars per order but we are at 91% we're back up to 91% so <laughs> maybe we're gonna see the old AR climb a little today Thank you so much for your order. I appreciate your business. Enjoy your Duncan and have a wonderful day. just got another one that I accepted nine dollars and fifty cents to go to country kitchen for four point some miles um, but again it's two orders so um, still decent though still decent so we're gonna head over to country kitchen and pick those up oh, Excuse me. Both of them. Camera. Camera. So Tamara's got this drink. Mm -hmm. I don't need them. Camera, thank you so much for your order. I appreciate your business. You have a wonderful day. Enjoy your country kitchen. All right, everyone, we got Tamara's order dropped off and um, she had an extra $5 tip. So this just went from $9.50 to $14.50. All right, everyone, we are on our way over to drop this country kitchen order off to Mackenzie. And while we were en route, we got an Instacart shopping batch. Um, it's $33.90. We're shopping for two different people at Aldi. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. All right. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. All right. I need two of those. Two of those. We need hot dog buns.
apple chicken sausage. Bremer Original. And that goes with B. All right. I think we got it. All right, everyone. I don't exactly know how long we were in the store but I know we were in there for less than an hour for sure so morning Hi. got some Aldi for you oh, okay how you guys doing today good awesome you guys got it from here? Or? Yeah, we got it. All right, you guys have a good day. Yep. Thank you so much. How you been, Dan? I know, it's just that moisture in the air, I think. Oh yeah. All right, this is the Gatorade's in that one, so it's kind of heavy. Oh, so that's the one. Okay. We'll switch. All right, sounds great. Thank you, Thank man, you I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day. Um, it took us 59 minutes and 47 seconds. So one hour, we made $34. That's 34 bucks an hour can't complain about that that's why I emphasize it's so important you guys got to get out there and do some of the shopping orders McDonald's order and it's for four dollars and fifty cents but it's going like 1.3 miles or something like that so not very far once we pick it up it'll be about a mile so let's head on over to McDonald's on the north end of town here and we'll pick it up Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Anthony? Yeah. All right, man. Thanks. Enjoy. Have a good day. All right, everyone. We're heading back to Aldi. We just got a DoorDash order for $8.68 to go like 2.1 miles or something. It's not very far, uh, but we're gonna go pick up 10 items at Aldi. So another shopping order, another $8.68. Shouldn't take us too long. Here we go.
deli selected oven roasted turkey breast finely sliced oh that was finely sliced lower sodium all right uh, classic noodle with chicken meat uh, they want two of those Okay, then we need chicken bouillon cubes. There we go. And last but not least, we need a six pack of Gatorade. We got that shopped in like under seven minutes. They gave us 18 minutes to do it. We did it in under seven. But I came outside. When I first got here, the cart had a quarter in it. So I took the cart. I went in. And then when I came out, there was a gentleman that wanted the cart. I said, hey, do you want this one? He was going to hand me a quarter. I said, quarter was already in it when I got here. So it's yours. We're paying it forward today. I started walking away and one of the handles on one of my bags broke and my shit went to the ground. So he came over and helped me. I keep extra bags in the car for that specific reason. So it worked out, but it just, uh, it is so annoying sometimes when this stuff takes place. It's like, really? And now I think I'm going back to the college and it says leave at my door, but this is on a street where there's not really any houses. So we'll see when I get there. All right, guys, we got the Aldi dropped off for Peyton at one of the college dorms here. And what blows my mind is I hit complete order and it is 11.20 right now in the morning, okay? We're pretty much in the heart of lunch and it says previously busy hotspot. So what I'm gonna do is go to the main screen and hit return to dash. Okay, now it says busy hotspots. It's, there's like this just weird little glitch in the DoorDash app that Captain, the screens Captain. don't, I don't know, it gets locked up or something. It just it annoys me so much. Uh, as you heard, we just had another order come in. $8.50 to go 4.2 miles from the 209 bar. This is a new one for you guys. We're going to go ahead and accept that. And um, we're probably like a mile and a half away from the 209 bar anyway. So this is going to be a good order. Um, well over two bucks a mile. Let's head over there now. I'm here to pick up a DoorDash order for Theo. i just curious though. Yeah. It says hash browns drink. <laughs> that... Oh, that must be a red stew then if yeah. it says, oh yeah, because oh. it's a biscuit sausage and oh, gravy. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so just like walk down It that says way. hash browns drink. Oh, oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I was like, <laughs> okay. Because I was like, okay, I got it. Two I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you go just around the block and then in the door is red stew. Oh, okay. They'll have it ready. All right, sounds good. Thank you guys. All right, we gotta go down to the, this is owned by the same place, but one of them does breakfast and one of them does lunch. All right, for Theo? Yes, All right, thank you.
Have a wonderful day. But does this happen to anyone else? So I'm facing south where I was parked. And when I come back and I turn on the DoorDash app, or, or not turn it on, but when I when I hit uh, directions, it is telling me to go north from where I'm sitting at. guy I used to work with sorry anyway it's telling me to go north but I'm facing south like it's just literally saying okay go north to 5th Street well I have to go around the block to go back north I can't just you know <laughs> I just think it's the goofiest thing anyway if that happens to anyone else put your comments down below it's just every day I do this and I record I find more and more things to talk about when it comes to app issues so we're gonna take this uh, over to Theo and get it delivered see you in a little bit I'm here hi, hi. Theo yes all right you made my car smell so good <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> All right, enjoy, have a great day. Um, and now we just got a $12 going seven miles. It was either seven or 7.8, but anyway, $12 from Mi Rancho Mexican Restaurant. And we are not very far away. So we're gonna go pick that one up, get that one delivered. We're starting to see some decent orders now. Have a good one. Ah, uh, here for Nicole. Nicole? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, man. All right. Second, but it's fresh as it's gonna be. No problem. I appreciate it. Huge piece of sand. Game, there. game your assistance here. Yeah. Awesome. Drive well, safe. Thank you. Yep. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right. Well, we got Nicole's order delivered finally from Mi Rancho. It took a while. All right, everyone. We just pulled into the mall parking lot, which is our favorite place to park. And before I even put it in park, I got an order from Subway at Walmart, which is the better of the three. And it's for like $4.58 going 1.2 miles or something like that. So not a great order, but not a horrible order. We're going to go grab that and uh, we'll see if we can't get another one after that. And a Diet Coke. Diet Coke, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I have an order for Dr. Cassie Rendon. Perfect. There is that. And... There is the sandwich. Thank you. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. We've got another order. It's from McDonald's. 
Uh, it's not a good one. It's 527, but I think it was going like eight point some miles. But I took it. All right, thank you so much for your order. I appreciate your business. Enjoy your McDonald's and have a wonderful day. All right, everyone, we are calling it a day. We got the McDonald's order dropped off. Um, and we didn't have a bad day. We were out there for right at five hours. I think I turned the app on at 7.46 and I shut the app off at 12.48. So we're gonna call it five hours. Uh, that's a grand total between DoorDash and Instacart. Um, we did 70, $6.10 on DoorDash and we did $37.06 on Instacart. I think if my math is correct, that's $113.16 for five hours. So not too shabby. Um, what is that? Like 22, 22 and some change an hour, something like that. Anyway, not too bad of a day. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed your day. I appreciate all the support lately. Um, thank you guys for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. Uh, this is Dashing Dink once again saying be safe, have a wonderful day, and until the next dash.